Look, Levi Haynes is a title contender yeah. at 157 mm, I this agree. year. I, I'm, he's not my pick, but he's 100% in the conversation. When wow. you say guys like Peyton Robb, Jared Frenick, Kendall Coleman, you have to mention Levi Haynes at this point, in my opinion. Wow. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even opposed. I'm yeah. just surprised these are leaps uh, you guys are taking. It's, it's Why? Great. I don't it's think courageous. we've ever said. Have we ever said anything uh, in the opposition to this? No, I just think they're. Uh, I might have sold it a bit after he lost to Corbin Munson. No, he killed Corbin. Munson. No, he killed Corbin. Or, Munson. Um, that, I mean, that was Vinny one of the things for me because Corbin Munson's yeah, been. Um, he was two one over Bearclaw. I mean, I, I think this that's is, a team. Yeah, yeah, that was that was one that made me worry Russell right Carps there. But then, lost mm -hmm. to his team when uh, when he killed Corbin Munson. Corbin Munson's like. He's a solid guy. He's wrestled other guys tough. Um, he just beat him so bad. I was like, oh, my goodness. So, Corbin Munson beat Ed Scott. Yeah, and he did. It looked like you could give him a 1,000 tries against Saints, and it ain't ever going to be competitive. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just – that – coming into this year, I don't think that was on our radar that this would be a possibility with um, Levi this year. I think we thought he will be their best option. And that he could maybe place this year. I think that was probably yeah. on the high end of expectations for Levi. So, I mean, the other thing here, Christian, is that um, teamers out and Mondays up, which though, to me, those would be two tough matches for him. And then agree. it just adds to the depth of the weight class. And you for know, me, adds to the depth. Ray Lee is not performing this year. We just no. saw him lose again. To Trumbly. To Trumbly. Trumbly. Um, Trumbly solid. He I is know. He, he was my, like I said, Brayden Lee was my preseason pick, and I'm. I wasn't hitting panic button earlier in the season, but should be. I'm definitely yeah. really not feeling good. I don't think it's going to happen this year. I wouldn't rule it out. I don't. I don't think this is last year. But regardless, I it doesn't look like. it's And we haven't this seen year. Bryce Andonian except for one match. At the, um, yeah, big, where the heck the, been? at the All Star? Where at this point? Lost. Listen, we'll we'll try to get some confirming information. They got but, NC State coming up this weekend. He better be back for that. Yeah, a week from. Oh, I thought it was this coming weekend. No, it's the twentieth, January twentieth. Okay. Um, so at this point, you got to be thinking they're considering not wrestling Bryce at all this year. Get a medical. Well, he has a regular. I'm pretty sure you yeah. never registered. Well, might as well use your medical if you're not going to wrestle for a medical reason this year, and then you True. got that redshirt later. You, you can't have too many shirts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Um. Yeah. Hey, I don't know. Uh, just to update you on that tournament situation. Okay. So Jack was the only one who forfeited in the blood round, but then both the next round and the round after that, all matches were no contests. Strange. So stupid. Like, yeah. What in the world? Yeah. That's not ideal. Not ideal. I mean, because open tournaments aren't well, well, a way to actually place dudes. It's a way for wrestlers to get matches. So who cares if oh you my have gosh. to forfeit out? Who yeah. cares if uh, that, yeah. as long as... Some guys get their six matches in. Yeah. That's the point of open tournaments. That's how college coaches do open know. tournaments, especially on the backside. Reasonable brackets. It would be much better. Yeah, I, th I think we could That's do just a your OCD kicking in, needing to finish a bracket. Well, like, this is so dumb. If the, Why would if you the stop bracket's there? that big, I, it would seem like some of the – some of the championship matches would maybe even have to be – No, so uh, – You get a lot more matches. Well, round of 64 is six to a title. Okay. Got it. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Some big yeah. brackets. All right. We're, let's keep it moving. Anything else? So Levi Haynes, title contender, says you guys maybe. You says, didn't deny uh, it. <laughs> I didn't deny it. Yeah. Didn't Dean deny what? Good over could be. Amos. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm not denying it. I, I'm not. Um, I'm not. Yeah. That the uh, construction of the weight is a thing. If you told me he lost to, let's say, um, on the front side, he lost to Frank. On the back side, he lost to Ed Scott, and he was round of twelve. That that's within the realm of possibilities. Also, like there's a lot of good dudes in here. I just don't mm -hmm. think any of them are that much better than he is. Like I don't think Peyton Rob's that much better than he is. I think he's probably better. Number three, Kendall Coleman barely beat Rathjen on Sunday. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, he's. Yeah. I I think he's close. I think he's there. I think he's personally a no brainer to use this year. Regardless I of, agree. and for the, for the, I think the reasons we've said, but he's, and Kale even said this, that he's not long for 57. Um, he's, yes. 
pretty sure he was quoted as saying that in lo- the last week, which is something we've known for a while is that he's big. And you, it's pretty evident, too. So this is maybe one. He's got one or two years. He could be a 57 power before he moves up. And then you get into Log Jam City because Facundo's a freshman. Starachi's Stur- um, staying at 174. So there's not a lot of movement that can happen. So you wrestle him this year. You could still redshirt him next year or figure things out with Facundo. And he's going to keep getting better. His his, his improvement this year is going to be continue to accelerate. Yeah, I you, did not jump to that conclusion. Um until just just recently yeah it's just uh at the same time it is a little fast because you see a lot of guys that can body you know guys that are like sort of in that fringe ranked and then those next jumps yeah i do think he's still like another test away from like really putting his stamp he's a for sure title contender right All uh, I'm, yeah, saying I'm, is, not saying, at this point, I'm not saying yeah, I'm not saying he's gonna win. I'm saying like if he won, I wouldn't be. He's that good. Like he he can compete at that level for sure. Yeah, and this this could change. I'm just saying at this point in time, from what we've seen, you have to mention him with your yes. Peyton Robs, Franix, and Coleman. See, yeah. I don't. 100. I I don't understand. And I'm big. And I'll say this: I'm big on like eye test and forget who they've beaten to a degree because like you can just tell. And I'm not. And I'm not saying I'm not there, but you just he has not. Past that level of a test yet. Garrett models the best guy he's beaten, as far as I can tell. And that's a guy who's taken some he's been beaten soundly before. He lost six one to Trumbly. He got uh model lost ten one to Artelona. Yeah, Ma- um, model's not he's not. Great. I know, but that's I mean, the best he's guy he's competitor. beaten. There's no, no one's putting It's just Christian, when you just watch him, you're like, this dude's freaking good. Yeah, I mean, that, I know. that's what it is for me. You watch him. And obviously, I, you know, I've seen him wrestle previous to this, and he is just good, and he's tough, and he's strong, and it appears he can ride, and it appears he can get off bottom. Like, uh, no, I don't, I don't think he's going to guarantee or a lock to be different. I'm not thinking of him like I think of, say, Spencer or Yanni, but oh, yeah, uh, like we talked about, number three, Kendall Coleman just barely beat Rathjen. Yeah. Like, but, that happened but- yesterday. But we've seen Kendall Coleman beat a lot of really good guys in for sure his career, and we're just we have not seen that uh, from Levi. I feel like that's his next test. If he can, all right, let's pull up this Penn State schedule. I'm normally the one. I feel like I'm always the one rushing to title contender city. I'll have Will Luan, January twentieth. That's his oh, next match. Oh, let's go, man! All right, that's a tough. That's a tough. Um, because Haynes is crazy. He's gonna be all over him, and we've seen. Will can make uh, a lot of guys look. Honestly, though, besides that, he'll kind of coast in the Big Tens. You think so? Uh, is there a schedule up on the screen? Sadalte, so Seabrick, Gallagher, it. Gilcher, Clark, North, Elfin. Dang, 57 is kind of weak in the Big Ten, huh? Yeah, I reckon so. I mean, Let's they see, don't 57. hit Nebraska. Yeah. That's Nebraska. The big one. And did it hit Purdue or no? No. Yeah. He's. Wow. Yeah, Big yeah, Ten only has shape. four in the top. Oh man, they only have four in the top fourteen at one fifty-seven, and then I, I'm assuming Chumbly will probably move up into the top fifteen. But then they have, yeah, Seabrick is fifteen, Chumbly sixteen, Gilcher seventeen, Model nineteen, Saldate uh, twenty, Clark twenty-one. Yeah, a bunch of guys in that kind of next range. Yeah. So, and, and if he doesn't wrestle Luan or Luan doesn't wrestle him, we're gonna have a lot more. Questions. Like these questions are going to continue. Yeah, uh, no confirmation. Without he's just going to he's likely going to keep beating these guys. We'll be like, where where does he fit? Um, like him versus Austin O'Connor. I like. I feel like that's a really tough matchup for him. Yes. Um, yeah, agreed. 